Hi guys, Dr. Berg here. Listen, I wanted to answer a question. Will fasting slow your metabolism? Okay, I'm not talking about intermittent fasting. I'm talking about actual fasting doing over a period of time. Now, some people fast for religious reasons. Some people fast for weight loss. Some people fast for health benefits. So regardless of your reason, we just want to look at two main variables. One is what has been your history, your past history of your diet? Do you have a strong nutritional reserve? Have you been eating good over the years or not? Do you have insulin resistance? All these factors are going to set you up to have easy nutritional deficiencies as soon as you start this fast. But if you've been consuming good foods over a period of time, you have enough stored fat-soluble vitamins, let's say in your liver, like vitamin A and vitamin D and vitamin E and vitamin K2 and other vitamins like B12 to be able to to use when needed over a period of time when you're not eating. But if you have a deficiency in those already going, like a subclinical deficiency, and then you go on a fast, it's all going to be magnified. The first uh, system in your body to be affected uh, when you do fasting would be the endocrine system. So you're going to, uh, if you start seeing signs of uh, hair loss, um, problems with vision, uh, blood sugars, and general overall weakness, then we know the endocrine system uh, needs some support there. Uh, and then also the thyroid. Uh, a lot of people that go on fast over a long period of time and they're doing it too frequently, they end up really slowing their metabolism down. So we just want to look at what has been in your past history? Do you have enough reserve left to be able to do this? And number two, are you when you're eating, are you consuming enough nutrient-dense foods when you're actually eating, okay? Um, you have the fat-soluble vitamins, water-soluble vitamins, all the B vitamins, vitamin C. Those are, um, those are needed uh, like almost every day. So you have to have somewhat of a reserve. Now then you have trace minerals. Are you consuming any type of sea vegetables or uh, seafood, uh, seaweed, things like that? Because that would give you your iodine, your selenium, your manganese, all those little minerals needed in smaller amounts. And then you have essential fatty acids. Um, if you're on a low-fat diet, that could create a problem if you're fasting because all these essential fats are needed for cellular membranes, for the nervous system, for the brain, for the heart. So you need these healthy fats. And then you have amino acids. That's all your proteins. Okay, so uh, if you're a diabetic or you're a pre-diabetic and you go on a long-term fast, you may end up with a lot of uh, problems with your muscles atrophying, loss of muscle, hair loss, skin issues, that type of thing. So you just want to make sure. Um, and I'm talking about a, like a fast that goes longer than four or five days. So if you're doing anything shorter than that, it should be okay, but longer fasts are not good. That, that's why I recommend intermittent fasting for 99% of the population because unless you know your body's really healthy, uh, adding fasting could create some issues. So you have to be pretty healthy too fast. But then fasting does get you healthy too. So start out on a gradual intake. Start out with intermittent fasting, you know, three meals without snacks, and then two meals without snacks, and then maybe even one meal without snacks, and then graduate to more fasting if you really want to do that. All right, so thanks for watching and give me your comments below. Hi guys. Hey, listen, I created a pretty amazing evaluation quiz down below that actually analyzes your symptoms to find the cause the root cause of all of your symptoms, the most likely cause. So take the quiz now and we'll send you a report.